Field is a business with a famous name and a famous face. Fine lady, sweet lady. Aunt Ruby. She had good taste. And so do they. I love the peanuts, they are good. Aunt Ruby's peanuts. They are very delicious. And they are very busy. These peanuts go all over the country? Oh yeah, everywhere. May I take your order? I will ship anywhere in the United States. Did you ever imagine that that's what would happen? No. Aunt Ruby probably didn't think so either. She was born in 1917, center of the family, and everybody gravitated towards her. She was a good mother-in-law. Sometimes when people see the cans or they come in, they say, you Aunt Ruby. I said, no, but I knew her very well. And she worked down here. She would come down here every day. And often sample the peanuts. She would always point out the one. She said, this one is good to me. And that's the logo. Logo on the shirt today. Good to me. Good to me. Enfield, home to Aunt Ruby's. It was also home to a little feed and seed store that began in 1945. Manufacturing and selling and delivering dairy feed. Somewhere in the mid 80s, along that time frame, there was a dairy buyout, so we had to switch gears. Peanuts. Was that a tough transition? It was quite a transition. But it wasn't long before the little peanut company found its groove. You gotta have a good rhythm. Yes, sir. Are you a good dancer? Not a good dancer, but a good rhythm. <laughs> Aunt Ruby's peanuts became hot. People would send peanuts to friends around the country. Word spread. The little family business grew. How long have you worked here? 42 years. Best peanuts in the world. Did she like the image on the can? Very much. She must have been very proud. She was. Aunt Ruby's is even a tourist attraction. We drove down from Pennsylvania to visit some people, and I had to come in and get some peanuts. Aunt Ruby's peanuts. They're wonderful. You have to have a handful every day. Eat more peanuts. Not a good dancer. I ain't going to pay that one now. <laughs>